What is up people's token here and today I want to be showing you how to get the absolute best audio quality for your gameplays and commentaries. We're going to be using audacity to record which is free and you can get it from the link below in the description. Now starting off you don't necessarily need to have a professional mic to have good audio but it does make a difference. I myself have a blue snowball which is about $50 new and you're also going to want to have a pop filter. This is going to help prevent any loud spikes when you're talking into the mic and these are really cheap as well. I think I got mine for about $15 but I'm going to put links in the description so you can see what is needed to buy a minimal setup. I'm also going to have a too long didn't watch text version of this tutorial in there so if you want to give this video a like for the easiness of that that would be awesome. So first off I'm going to show you the before and after quality. This is the before. What is up peoples token here with another awesome tutorial and whatnot. And this is what it sounds like after editing. What is up peoples token here with another awesome tutorial and whatnot. And to prove that you don't need an expensive setup, this is a before and after I recorded with a rock band microphone that also has a sock on top of it in place of the pop filter. What is up peoples token here with another awesome tutorial and whatnot. What is up people's token here with another awesome tutorial and whatnot. As you can hear the post version sounds a lot better. It's got some kick to it and even though I'm in an open living room without any padding on my walls it sounds really good. Now for the editor. Now when you have your recording you want to make sure that any movements or spikes are filtered out. So here you can see that I have a mic rattle from moving my mic. We want to select and delete that from our audio so it doesn't have any effect on the rest of our settings later on. We also want to have a few seconds of silence either in the beginning or the end of our recording and you're going to see why soon. So here we have the original bad audio that is just purely voice. What we want to do to this is normalize it. And this is going to scale up the audio in uniform where the loudest point in our clip is maximized. It's also going to let us edit everything more precisely. So double click your whole clip, go to effects and click normalize. We want to set this to negative 2.5 dB because we're going to do more editing and we don't want the audio to clip later on. Also have DC offset checked to remove any irregularities in the recording and center its volume. After that we want to remove all of our background noise. And this is arguably the most important thing you can do with your audio. And this is going to work in two parts. The first is getting a profile of what we want to remove and this is where this few seconds of silence comes in. So select it, go to effects noise reduction and click get a noise profile. Then select all of our audio, go back to effects, noise reduction, and a good set of settings here I would say is 15, 6, and 1. You can go through here changing the values one at a time and seeing the effect it has on our audio, but for me this is what works best. If you do want to change these, don't set the settings higher than 28 and 3 or else you're going to start to lose some of your own voice quality. But when you have a good preview, click OK to apply it. Then from here we're going to compress our audio to equalize the volume throughout us talking. So if for some reason you were quieter in some parts of your recording and other parts had high impact action to it, it's not going to be a drastic audio change that blares into people's ears and makes them want to lower their own volume. So select everything, go to effect and compression and this threshold slider is for what volumes we want affected and we want to get our highs and lows close together. So I'm going to set this to 20 to lower everything above 20 decibels and set the noise floor to 40 because we don't want to increase any background noise. Then set the ratio to 7 to 1 to help decrease any loud spikes and the attack and release to a tenth of a second. And this is for when we talk it's going to quickly fade in and out smoothing the vocals so keep these settings low. Then click OK. And after this it's everybody's favorite part adding the bass and the treble. This is important as we don't want our voice to be a solid ear piercing scream. We want it to be smooth and understandable. So highlight the audio, go to effects and click bass and treble. Start it off at 0 and 0 and move these up to what you feel is good for your own voice. For me I set it to 15 and 10 because my voice isn't very low so I don't have much low frequencies and the 10 for the treble so the bass doesn't muffle everything out and you can hear me well. If you feel this didn't add as much effect even with the sliders all the way up, after you apply it you can go back and add more by going back to bass and treble. But adding too much bass is going to decrease the quality of your audio. So even if you have a really high squeaker voice, 
you're going to want to go with something more natural. I know we all want to be Markiplier here, but that's just not possible. The last thing we want to do is normalize it again, just standardizing the audio. So select all, effects, normalize, and set this to negative one, and then we're done. That's all there was to it, just follow these easy steps, and you're going to have some professional sounding quality to go along with your videos. And like I said before, there's a simple text tutorial of these steps in the description so you don't have to worry about when you make another video and forget how to give yourself pro audio, just come back to this video and check that out. So if this video helps you out, go ahead and give it a like, and until next time, peace out peoples.